So what do you think? Should uh, the Sussexes de-escalate and just focus on bonding with the Royals? That's what the video will be about, and I hope you like it. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Your subscription could be the one that makes all the difference. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. It, could it be that the Markle, uh, Meghan Markle, and uh, Harry should just put? whatever the differences are aside and just grovel to the royal family is that what should happen well we'll let the cards uh tell us whatever the cards tell us okay so sophie Kozo six thank you for your questions you're very good and uh, so this is going to be sophie Kozo asked uh, prince harry duke of sussex um his wife the kids is it better for them just to de-escalate and bond with the royals than um you know keep this um nagging Thing alive is it better will it be better in the long run for Harry his wife and the kids get along with the Royals let's see how that looks but first let's have a moment of meditation okay is it better just to find some kind of happy uh, medium uh, ground and get it, get on with the family? You know, just start to find a way that you can, you know, it's like going to those holiday dinners with there's going to be some people there that you don't like. And you just before you go, hopefully you just sit yourself down and say, OK, I just have to get through a few hours of this. Let's just hold our time. But this is a lifetime we're talking about. This isn't a few hours. So is it better for Harry, Megan, uh, Archie, a uh, little bit? Is it better that they just... Get along with the Royals. Six cards to begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is it better? Get along. Thanks, Sophie Coase. The signifier of this card is the uh, king is this a king? I believe this is a king of wands. And so the, the king of wands are plans. Okay. So Harry has plans. I feel like this is Harry. It could just as easily be uh, Charles. But for some reason, this feels like Harry to me. Okay. The uh, challenge to that then uh, with this knight of coin. Okay. So the knight is, maybe I'm wrong, or maybe this is Harry too. But the knight, the coins are, the coins are uh, value, worth, uh, could actually be money, uh, certainly in this case. And this knight is going to fight for that that he's been given to fight for. Okay, he's going to fight for that value. You know, this is Harry, and I think this is Charles. So could this mean that Charles is in some part, um, um, this is a stubborn-looking king responsible uh, for that. Interesting. The base of this reading, then, with this Three of Cups, is compassionate emotional celebrations. Yeah, that's what's at the base of this. That's what we're all looking for. And that's what uh, probably even Harry and even the Royals are looking for. Some sort of reason, reason for a compassionate celebration. The, um, that's the base of this reading. The past of this reading is death. Oh, my gosh. So death doesn't usually mean death. But in this case, it very well could. It could be, be the end of, of the Queen's uh, reign. Interesting. So this may not, this, this may be a point when this becomes the past, when this starts to come into more play. The uh, sky of this reading then with this Knight of Cups is this Knight of Compassion Emotion. For some reason, I feel like this is William. I don't know. But uh, but the sky of this reading, uh, the very most that you can hope for is uh, this Knight fighting for that compassionate um, um, bidding that he's been given to do. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this is beautiful because this is a, a great big ace of cups, and an ace of compassion, emotion being handed to you uh, in a ray of sunshine. So that's beautiful. That's kind of what I would think we all want. The um, last four cards for this then 
Will is it better for Harry and the family just to get along? The self of that very question is right here. Well, of course it is. This is the hermit, and the hermit is the um, uh, major arcana. He's really he's pretty uh, halfway through his journey. He's looking at his next step. He's got a plan, but he's holding back until he finds exactly the right way to move forward. So that's the very base of this whole uh, question: is the hermit. The uh, challenge to that, however, with this uh, king of cups is that this uh, king of cups, gosh, I think this is still Charles, is just demanding an emotional, compassionate surrender. Okay? Interesting. The hopes and the fears for this, is it better for Harry just to get along? Look at that. Is uh, the fool starting a journey. Uh, understanding that... Um, you know, you're off on your journey, the hopes and the fears, you're off on your journey, and uh, hopefully you don't step off that ledge. But i got to tell you, this is one of the cases where the, the fool is as close to the ledge as I've ever seen him. And then the uh, final outcome for the whole thing uh, right here is judgment. Of course it is. B enough said. Uh, judgment uh, is of your soul, judgment by people. Let's read the whole thing again. So the signifier card, is it better for Harry just to get along uh, with the royals? Is this king of plans? Someone's got a great big plan in their hand, and they're, um, this is the queen. I think this is a queen. Wow, this is the queen. The queen understands what the plan must be. It's the monarchy. And the challenge to that is Harry uh, fighting for his value. The base of the whole thing is uh, a time of celebration, emotional, compassionate celebrations that everybody uh, is involved in. And then uh, rather the base of this whole thing and the past of it is the end of the Queen's reign. It looks like that's going to kick something off. The sky this reading is uh, this knight, which I feel like it's William, uh, carrying uh, that chalice of compassion in. And then the final outcome is a great big offer of compassion. But the very self of that question is this knight, uh, not this knight, I'm sorry, this hermit, uh, looking very carefully before he puts a step forward, Harry. The um, um, environment that that's in with this king now of cups is a great big kingly offer of compassion. Maybe it comes from Charles. The um, hopes and the fears for that is this is this very journey that, that Harry is on. And then the final outcome is, of course, judgment. Um, there's going to be judgment. And um, so it doesn't really answer our question as to whether he's better off uh, just to uh, make friends with the royal family. But it, it more outlines what the journey is going to be, if you ask me. You never know how these things are going to turn out. So that was pretty interesting. And I hope you liked uh, the interpretations and that they gelled with what you thought. If they didn't, tell me what you thought. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is another Los Scarabio, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these. All in the right away uh, iconography kind of. And a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read. But the um, what's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look at how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning, and someone feels like they're getting their money's worth. So we we'll mix them up like this so that we kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards, and sometimes it's good to lift the querent, um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute, and then people get more involved. You know, once you've touched it, it's uh, it's more appealing. So here we go. We'll get this going. <laughs> well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.